All right, guys. Hey, this is Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics. Today we're going to be. I picked this up in uh, at SEMA. Bugler makes this. Been out for a long time. You guys probably that are in the automotive industry know about these. Uh, custom pinstripers are hard to come by, and they're well, it's like everybody else is talented. I mean, you're going to pay for it. So for this table to call out a, a guy to do some custom pinstriping to me was a little overkill. So. I brought this Bugler uh, pinstriper just for the small, you know, the hydrographic projects that I'm doing that I might be able to take care of myself without having to bring somebody else in and schedule and coordinate and all that. Let me go over the product with you. Um, what it is is a wheel. And there's a different size wheel. This I think is the $180 kit, okay? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different wheels here. And the size of the wheel indicates each one. They're all the same except for that little cleaning brush there. Okay, your instruction booklet, of course. And then what you do is you fill this area up with, with paint. And you want to use like a hot shot or a thick, thick paint. I'm actually using House of Colors and it works just fine. Um, when you slide that back in, of course the wheel goes on the bottom, I kind of center it. Now, what you're going to get with the Bugler kit that I bought, I actually have a magnetic piece that you can set on the side of your car to do your sight. Um, pinstriping is kind of neat. I don't have it here for this video because we're not going to use it. But Then you've got your guides. It comes with three guides, a right and a left, and then a straight one. And this can be inserted into each side of this. And this is kind of your your little anchor point there and you can use it on rims and wheels and pretty much anything but for this table I want to put a line here and a line here um, in order to do that I just found myself my allen wrench that was an eighth of an inch a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch and ground it round so eighth inch stock is what you want for this okay so if you have some eighth inch stock laying around old barbecue grills sometimes are eighth inch so thinner ones uh, there's a lot of things that are eighth inch that you can use just for adjusting your own then also what I did was I put a little zip tie here because what I'm going to be doing is trying to catch underneath this edge here. I also hot glued the top and the bottom to keep it from sliding around. You can't tighten it up that much on this. Keep it from sliding up and down. And then what I'm going to do is apply it on here and work my way around the inside. Then change my adjustment, bring it over here, and I'll be able to do the outside of my detail stripe. So I'll probably speed this up. You guys don't want to see when it comes to the corners and the intersections what I did was I kind of ghost marked it okay so I can kind of see where my lines should come together um, and then I can figure out where to start also of course you're gonna need some acetone I've got a clear coat over the top of this that's why it kind of looks a little shiny and not so shiny I've got clear on this um, I've got my acetone got my little brush okay so when I do screw up and I will I just touch it up a little bit, especially on my, my crossing lines right here. I can just touch it up a little bit, clean it up, and just carry on. So bear with me. Let me uh, put some paint in this. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm not going to take much paint. So what you do is you put the paint in, put your top back on, make sure you're lined up straight. I kind of like to look down it, kind of like the front of a, a gun. Make sure you're lined up and then I slide this plunger up. And you slide the plunger up until a little drop of paint comes out of that right there. Okay, once you got that out of there, you're good to go. So I'm just going to do a couple lines here. Yeah, I'll do a freehand one. It's working real nice. Stop. 
stop everything in one shot. Can't hesitate and move your hands. All right, guys, got the table done. Get a little close up of the bugler striper. See that there? Got a double on the inside and a wide one on the outside. It's just the way it worked out. I'll show you the. That's the foldable leaf there. I still have to buff it out one more time on top there. Down here, I got all. Or what? I gotta wipe that stuff off. It's got a little fuzz on it from the water, but it's clean. My legs. I lag these in down here. So I had to cut the dowels off just to get it all apart. And then I've got these plugs. I'm gonna dip tomorrow and throw those inside there to cap that off and give it a nice little accent. Couldn't find a. I could have found a dowel, I guess, but I couldn't find a plug that worked good for that. Uh, I've got the maple all down on the bottom rail that centers the legs together. And I've got the maple up on top here. We've got three coats of uh, urethane on this. And I kind of cut the top of it. Well, I kind of, I did. I cut the top of it to try to get it a nice shine. It's still, like I said, you can see across it where it's got some dull spots. I'm going to hit it one more time. I put it all together and made sure everything fit before I finalized the last polish on it. But there you go. This is Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics, dining room table. We're out.